Uh, welcome to Bloody Peak Supplements and PT Dent's educational videos. I just had a comment on our YouTube channel saying that doing bicep curls and extending your elbows at the very bottom is dangerous because you should never extend your joints. So today I just want to do a quick overview of when and where it is dangerous and when and where it is not dangerous. Basically it comes down to where the weight is placed on the body, whether it is above the joints or below the joints. Basically, if the weight is above the joints, then gravity is pulling the weight down onto the joints, causing instability and putting excess pressure on your tendons and ligaments. If the weight is below the joints, then the weight is separating the joint because the gravity is still pulling the weight down. The weight is attached to the joint, so now the joint is semi-lengthening and your weight and your strength can take that outage and the chances of injury are dramatically less. So, let's have a look at the shoulder press. If you're doing a dumbbell shoulder press and you extend your elbows right up the very top, the weight is forced down onto the elbow joint and causing instability and that can do some damage to your tendons and ligaments. So you should never go through a full range of motion. Now, if you're doing a bicep curl, however, the weight on the bottom is below the joint. Therefore, you can squeeze your tricep, extending your elbows, and getting a full range of motion out of your bicep, and keeping your body safe. Another good example is doing a chin-up. When you're doing a chin-up, and you've extended yourself up, the weight, your body, is below the joint. Therefore, you can extend yourself all the way down to the bottom, keep your shoulders intact, so you squeeze your shoulders down, and then use your strength to pull yourself up and do so safely. Um, another bad example would be to do a squat and extend your knees. So if you're going to be doing a squat and you push yourself all the way up and you lock your knees back, now the weight, which should be sitting on your shoulders, is above your knee joint and is now putting pressure on your knee joint. So kind of long story short, if the weight is above the joint, then you do not lock your joint. If the weight is below the joint, you can go through a full range of motion of that joint with minimal risk of injury.